the highlights now and uh, out of the blocks. Initially it was Ben Mitchell got his nose ahead but uh, Andrew Hibbard far too experienced for that. Jeremy Timms waiting in the pits with uh, the newly acquired ex Rainer Wiesel Works uh, Chevron. Rainer Wiesel these days living in Thailand and uh, contemporary of Ronnie Peterson when they raced in these cars. Ronnie who debuted the, uh, uh, the prototype March uh, at the end of 1969 but uh, this battle raged between uh, two young lions. There's the uh, spin that uh, unfortunately put uh, Peter Thompson off. It was a fairly innocuous spin and yet it gathered momentum as it went round, uh, which was a shame because it's knocked Matt Brabham around. Worked for Steve Mace back at uh, base in, uh, uh, in Hampshire. Simon Diffie's car is being towed back past us as we watch this uh, field. So, and there was plenty to go on down the order with James King and Andy Jarvis recovering from that fluff start he talked about. And uh, there was the uh, De Sanctis, sadly, losing one of those glorious Campagnolo wheels uh, against the uh, belting at the corner. Safety car followed while the crews had to uh, pick up the uh, damaged uh, De Sanctis. And ben Mitchell uh, blasted out of the blocks. He was overtaken at the first corner uh, by... Andrew Hibbard again sailed round the outside, but uh, it wasn't over yet, not by a long way. These two guys trusted each other thoroughly. They ran within millimeters of each other. There was the uh, accident down at the fire, Steve Seaman plonking into the barrier at uh, the exit of Lavent Corner, but uh, having tried the outside previous lap into, uh, um, into Woodcut Corner, run around the outside of Andrew Hibbard, this time a more conventional dive up the inside for Ben Mitchell which uh, was enough to prove decisive and he won it by well, just over a tenth of a second. Absolutely brilliant. The Union Black Balls, we're racing.